living in Christ. We are living in the best of times. Says the Lord Jesus Christ is coming to the earth. Salvation and righteousness is closer to us than we could ever think. You know, um, at the time of Moses, when Moses brought the law to the people, the people recognized that God was far away. Uh, they would say he was in the mountain because of the thunderings and, 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 and what have you. But they never looked at God as being there with them on a constant basis. They looked at God when he was in the cloud that followed them in the desert. Or, uh, or other means or the workings of miracles of the uh, when Elijah uh, took the uh, I believe it was the axe handle and put and threw it in the water and it did swim the word of God says and when Moses struck the rock there was uh, water come from the rock so the people saw God up near but afar off or as an entity that they could not touch or be near or understand without a priest or a uh, someone uh, that was representing God on the earth. But beloved, we live in a day of the Holy Spirit now which makes it much more simple and much more clear says Jesus Christ came and fulfilled the law for us. Now we put our trust in the works of Jesus, not into some uh, priest or some other person that represents God. Amen? God deals with you personally. And look, the Word of God says that in sense here, in Romans 9, beginning at the fifth verse, it says, For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things, which is the law, shall also live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith, which we are today, of faith, speak it on this wise. Look at this, beloved. Say not in thine heart, who shall ascend to heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. We don't have to uh, uh, ascend unto heaven in order to find out what uh, our relationship is with the Father any longer. Or, or who shall descend into the deep or the abyss? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. Beloved, we don't need to bring Christ up from the dead to prove anything or to speak to him in any way because he is that near us, beloved. He is not like it was at the time of Moses when Moses uh, literally was God's spokesperson to the people. There is no spoke person for God any longer, beloved. Jesus Christ came and took care of that. So we don't have to go to heaven in order to find out like many people do today. They say, well, you know, when I die, then I'll find out if my good outweigh my bad. You don't do that. You rather believe, glory be to God, because you're not counting on your righteousness anymore. But Jesus Christ has fulfilled the righteousness of God. He has fulfilled the law for you. So, beloved, we now trust Him. But look how salvation comes and how simple it is for us today. But what say it? The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God had raised him from the dead thou shalt 
be saved. Beloved, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. So we confess salvation. We confess our uh, um, acknowledgement that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And beloved, that is enough. We don't need any signs. We don't need some uh, 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 priest telling us that we are forgiven. But beloved, it is in our mouth and in our heart. Amen? Because from the heart, we confess the truth of what we believe. Now, because we have confessed it and believed, now we can walk there in it. This was specifically given to the Jewish believers or who had become believers who were still slipping back in thinking that they needed the law also in order to appease God. Beloved, we don't need the law to appease God. Matter of fact, the Word of God said that the law is now written in our hearts. The commandments are now written in our hearts. How is that possible? Because it is no longer you that live it, but Christ that live it in you. Amen? So God is looking at not your heart. God is looking at the heart of Christ, whom you trust, whom you believe. Amen? Glory be to God. That's just like, for instance, uh, you were going to a concert of some sort, and you didn't have a ticket to get in. But the person who you're going with has a ticket for both of you. Amen? When you go to the ticket uh, uh, counter, uh, the, the person that's there, that's all they want is a ticket. Amen? And if that person gives a ticket for you, then you are as eligible you are as, as qualified as that person that had the two tickets. Because one is for you. One covered you. You know, like someone say, he's with me or she's with me. And then you are allowed to enter in. Well, that's what Jesus Christ says for you and me. They're, he's with me. She's with me. So when I walk in, walk in also. Beloved, salvation is nearer to us than it has ever been before. We don't have to seek Jesus to get him out of the grave. We don't have to go to heaven in order to find out. But beloved, we can know now with the confession that is made from our heart and then walk there in it. Beloved, may the Lord bless you in the righteousness of Christ.